Hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade from your stock Android 2.3.6 gingerbread to uh, Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. I want to start off by saying I'm not responsible for any mishaps that happen while you install. This is a custom ROM that was uh, ported from uh, another custom ROM, so it's a custom ROM of a custom ROM. So therefore, uh, if you have any problems with it, or if you for some reason get locked out of your phone it is not my fault with that being said let's get started alright so you're gonna need a couple of things before we start you're gonna need your phone of course and uh, make sure if you have a case to take it off and you will also need to have it charged at least fifty percent I would say uh, you would also need your USB cable and of course the files which I will link in the description uh, the, those files in the description are for the Samsung Infuse. Um, there are other files you can get for whatever phone you have. I guess I'll put that in the description too. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so uh, before we begin, make sure you back up all your data, uh, all your pictures, videos, music, whatever you need to have backed up. Make sure you back that up on your computer. Do not back it up on your SD card. Do not back it up anywhere on the phone. On your computer is the safest place it'll be make sure you do that. Uh, we're going to need these three files. Uh, in the middle is your zip file that is going to produce that folder on the left and on the right is the USB f uh, zip file which has the USB drivers if you haven't installed them on your computer yet. But there you go we have the custom ROM and Odin that we're going to use uh, later on in the video. Also before we begin you will need to set a password for your data reset we're going to be hard resetting and you're going to need to input a password. If you don't have one, you can set it up right here at the factory data reset password. And uh, make sure you uh, remember the password. <laughs> put, put something short. I used 1111. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You could always change it later. And set the password on the bottom part too. Uh, it's also for your, um, that's your storage password also. Just set both of them up. Uh, they could be the same thing if you choose to have them the same thing. It doesn't matter. You could change them later. So yeah, once you have that done, power off the device and then remove the USB cord. Hold down the volume up and down keys and push the power button simultaneously. Up and down, power button. Once you see the Samsung logo pop up, you let go of the power button but keep holding on to the volume up and down. Make sure you keep holding those on and you should pop up with this screen. So on this screen, you're going to go to the wipe data factory reset go scroll down to yes and click that and that's where you put in your password and then this should happen okay once the data wipes uh, we're gonna go into a reboot and during the reboot you are going to open up the back of the phone and remove the battery while it is rebooting make sure you do it while it's rebooting so uh, you'll see um, it doesn't have to be right at the Samsung logo, just in the midst of it rebooting, make sure you uh, remove the battery. And you'll see I'll do that in a second. So now I'm rebooting. And there's a Samsung logo. And soon enough, uh, once the AT&T stuff pops up, I will be removing it. Yeah, right here. Uh, I'm going to remove the battery which is uh, something you have to do for this process so there you go make sure you don't miss the reboot and there it is I take it out put it back in put the case back on or the cover back on and we're gonna go back and uh, leave the phone off here just leave it off you don't have to turn it on just leave it off put it down there you go and next, uh, we're going to go over here into the computer and open up Odin, which is uh, in the folder that you extracted earlier. And uh, we're going to go down to the PDA. And we're going to load up that ROM that came uh, along in the zip drive with Odin. So you go into here. There it is. That's the rooted um, ROM. And there you have it. So once we got that done, we're going to go back to the phone. Uh, you're going to hold down the volume up and down key and plug it in. Do not turn it on. Just hold down the volume up and down key and plug it in and it'll turn on by itself and it'll be in download mode now. 
So hit volume up to continue. You should be at this screen, and Odin should have recognized it. Make sure Odin recognizes it. You should see it uh, on the program. And here we go. This is the screen you should get once you click Start. So once Odin recognizes it, and uh, your phone is in download mode, cl uh, click Start, and it'll start doing its thing. There's a progress bar both on the computer and the phone. And this is all normal. It's going to reset once it's done, and you will see a pass. Pass is good. It's always good, isn't it? So now the phone is rebooting. So uh, at this point, you can remove the USB cable while the phone is rebooting. And uh, after a while, you should. You don't have to remove it. I just chose to remove it. And you should see it finishing up the install of the ROM. It shouldn't take very long, and it'll reboot itself again. And there you go, it's loading back into uh, uh, Android. So uh, this is 2.3.6, but it's just rooted, and it has the Clockwork mod installed, which is very necessary. So there it is, 2.3.6. And um, at this point, we're going to plug the phone in USB mode, and uh, you want to drag and drop your uh, the 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 ROM file for ice cream sandwich within Android make sure you uh, drop it in the phone and not the SD card so now we're gonna hold the power button along with the volume up and down once again and once you see the Samsung logo let go of the power as usual and you should pop up on this screen now this is the clockwork mod screen and we're just gonna delete the user set, uh, settings we're gonna wipe the cache and we're gonna go down to advanced and we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna wipe the Dalvik cache also so there you go those three delete the user settings wipe the cache and the Dalvik cache and then uh, once you got that done we're gonna go into install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and scroll down and you should see the file you dragged and dropped earlier onto the phone so there it is. It's uh, Infinitum, I believe that's what it is. Sorry, it's a little bad quality. I had to switch cameras in the midst of it. So yes, install. And it's going to go through the install process once again. Shouldn't take very long. But there it is. It's formatting. And uh, what is going to happen is we are going to uh, reboot. And we're going to get stuck at uh, the Galaxy S screen. And when you are stuck at that screen, we are going to uh, remove the battery and do this, uh, do the process again. The same exact process we just did. We boot up. Uh, we don't delete anything this time around, and uh, we just go straight into the install from uh, zip on an SD card. So reboot now. And uh, we're going to get stuck on the screen and at this screen we're gonna take off the battery cover take the battery out and put it back in like such and we're gonna go back into the clockwork mod by holding volume up down power let go of the power and it should load up there we go so now as you can see it's a little updated it looks different so we're just gonna go install zip from SD card again and uh, we're just gonna go back to the same file and we're going to uh, install the same uh, zip file so just click that it's gonna do the same thing over again as you can see it looks a little different clockwork uh, clockwork mod is uh, upgraded and there you go so that's pretty quick and uh, there you go just reboot it once again and now we should boot into ice cream sandwich there we go we got a little android guy oh you can see me there hi guys <laughs> but um yep uh, we're almost done here it takes a while on this screen it's gonna be here for about I don't know I wanna say two minutes 
And as, uh, the only reason I plug in over here is just because my phone is dying. You don't have to. That's why I said charge it earlier. But there you go. Uh, and that's the ice cream sandwich welcome screen. And you can sign in now or later. I choose to do it later just to show you guys a quick overview. Just type in my name here. All right, next, finish, and we're in. This is the default background that comes with the ROM. You can, of course, you could always change it, some default widgets and such. But there you have it. It was surprisingly smooth for a custom ROM that was ported from uh, Samsung Galaxy S. Uh, so it's quite smooth and just amazing. I mean, even transitions from anywhere. Uh, the web browser was a little glitchy, but it wasn't anything bad. It was still smooth. It's just as smooth, if not more smooth, than uh, and, uh, Gingerbread. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with this uh, ROM. Uh, shout out to the dev. But if we go into About Phone here, you can see that it is, in fact, Android version 4.0.4. Ice cream sandwich. There it is, guys. Uh, I hope this was a very helpful video. Um, some of you guys can enjoy uh, enjoy ice cream sandwich now. But uh, leave a comment if you need any help. Uh, leave your rating because it took quite a while to do this. And um, yeah, I just wanted to help everyone else out. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, I just want to add that there are some known issues with this ROM. Uh, one being Bluetooth, and there's some more posted uh, on the link in the description. But a few that I came across was, uh, number one that bothered me the most, was uh, unstable connection with 4G uh, HSPA+. Plus. Um, it always switched over to 3G when the connection, will, I don't know, something was up with the connection. I believe that's a driver issue, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, also voice recognition doesn't work. Uh, it's not a big deal for me, but some people might find that bothersome. I just wanted to test it out. Also, I haven't noticed that it vibrates on silent mode, which is kind of weird. And uh, while you're installing or downloading something from the Google Play Store, uh, it kind of uh, makes the phone a little laggy. So other than that, it's a great ROM. Um, it's actually really functional for what it is. So yeah, enjoy, guys.